This is how to play Handbags and Glad Rags, originally by Rod Stewart, but if you're anywhere close to my age you may know this better from the Stereophonics version in the early noughties, or indeed the theme of the UK Office, the one with Ricky Gervais. In this tutorial I'm just going to be covering that introduction, and then if you want a part two of me teaching all the rest of the song, and all the sections, all the tips and tricks, let me know in the comments below and I will do that for you. However, However, let's see if anyone is interested first of all. Uh, the first little part of it is this little riff. Now occasionally that sounds a little bit more like that on the recording. Um, I think both are used and I think sometimes the last note is just a little bit heavier on the thumb. But that is what we're playing. This is an octave above middle C. Middle C is here and we're up here on an F. A B flat, which is the key of this song. B flat major is the key. And we have the first finger going on the G note. Use that sustain pedal. And just changing or lifting off that uh, sustain pedal, sorry, when we change chord. We'll get to that in a second. It's the first part. This is a B flat sus 2. So we've got the second note of our B major scale here, and then going to the third. So that B major scale will really help you if you you know not used to playing the notes of this song. B major, I believe B flat major. Apologies, um, is exactly what we want in here. That is what we've got so far without me using the sustain pedal. That happens again, and then we have a cycle here, like this. First of all, try, because that's exactly what's happening. So it's first finger to second, and then if we think of this as one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? And it's the little finger every time you hit the C note with your first finger, so or, and the thumb as well. Da 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 da. Every time that first finger hits, the thumb hits and the little finger hits also. So that first finger never hits alone. And if you hold down the sustain pedal the entire time, you can be nice and light and get off those notes quite quickly to free up your hand, stay nice and relaxed and be able to do it faster. Putting the right hand together. Then, That is all the right hand does at the end there. Let's step through that slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? The left hand. Simple, simple, simple. Essentially on the root note of each chord, which would be where I would start. Um, in the Rod Stewart version, it kind of descends a little bit more. Um, sorry. In the Rod Stewart version, it goes A flat and to here, which could be an option. It's entirely up to you. We are simplifying this slightly, and it, there's a lot of different ways that it's played in all the recordings. So we're sort of summarising and simplifying. That is where I would be starting. Left hand went down at the same time as the right.
let's go for that first of all. And then we could add that left hand in there. sort of ending of the song and that's just two just your B flat chord no, learning all the chords that kind of occur in uh, B flat as a diatonic chords kind of um, you, you, you know that sort of theory there's more help of, with that in my chords um, lesson which I will um, link to in the description below However, that's all we're going to be teaching in this video. If you want a part two to this fabulous song, let me know in the comments and I will get it out straight away for you. You just need to let me know. Please subscribe to Andy Piano. You'll find more help on the website as well, andypiano.co.uk.